How's it going guys? So today we are going to be doing one of my favorite things to do and that is react and cringe at cringy people online. And today we are going to be cringing at John Legier, or I don't know if that's how you say his name, but I'm, I think it's, it, sh it should be close enough. For those of you who don't know who John is, he is the CEO of T-Mobile. And I don't know if you've seen him around the internet, but he's got some pretty juicy stuff. So I went on to his page the other day. The first thing I saw that popped up was him congratulating himself for being better at selfies than he was six years ago when he started off with T-Mobile. Um, and right off the bat, I just want to say, I think selfies are weird in general. Um, I don't believe in them, but that's a, that's a story for another time. Second of all, what grown man takes selfies? And I would say no, I would say no offense to any of you who are grown men who take selfies, but first of all, I don't think, uh, any grown men watch my videos. If you do, that's sweet. But if you take selfies, just please stop. It's time to stop. It's time to stop. It's time to stop, okay? No more. Where the fuck are your parents? Who are your parents? Next post is this one right here, where he talks about his long flights to Athens for business, but he loves the sights and he continues to post different uh, pictures of views that he saw while in Athens. But I just want to focus on this one right here. First of all, back to the selfie thing. I'm not going to harp on it too much longer, but we, we get it. You're there. Like, you don't have to take a picture of yourself in the picture to prove that you're there. Like, we believe you. We have no reason not to believe you. Anyway, that's not even why I cringed at this picture. If you'll, if you'll take a look, right about here, you can see his shirt, and he's got the pink, you know, the T-Mobile thing going on. I am 99% sure that he is wearing a T-shirt of himself. Need I say more? You know what I should do? I should get a t-shirt of my, my own face in cartoon form. See where that gets me in life. See if uh, I'll have lots of friends or get all the ladies. Do you think people would finally think I'm cool if I had a shirt with myself as a cartoon on the front of it? Maybe that's where I've been going wrong. Alexa, order some Tyler face shirts. I actually do have an Alexa. Um, this is not a sponsor. Uh, Alexa, if, if you want to sponsor me, then just hit me up, slide in my DMs. But yeah, no, I have an Alexa. I've just never used it. Sometimes I yell at her, but she doesn't answer because um, I guess you have to plug it in for them to take demands. All right. Next one. Now this one, this one's a video, all right? And the caption of, of it is, you all know I'm the CEO of T-Mobile, but did you also know that hashtag I am Batman? Because I am. Happy National Batman Day. And right off the bat, before watching the video, you can, you can see it says Bat John, and it has, you can see him dressed up as Batman and Batman characters and holding Batman um, memorabilia. So let's let's take a little look at what the video was like. So I'm not just gonna breeze past the fact that their desperate attempt to make a meme type of video is just completely fallen flat. 
pressing the keyboard with a custom word on it or a phrase on it was a big thing a couple years ago, if my memory serves me correctly. And this was just a couple of weeks ago. This was not a couple of years ago. And that being said, it's also not witty. It's not funny by any means. Um, upgrade, upgrade button. I don't know if it, I, if that's comedy, I guess that's why people don't laugh at my jokes. I don't, it's not, it's cringy, man, it's cringy. Also, before we get into the rest of this, you can hear them chanting something, and I was like, what, I, I watched it the first time, and I was like, what, what are they saying? They're saying Bat John, which I should have known from the thumbnail. Well, let, let's, let's just watch a little more. <laughs> So they keep going with the upgrade button thing because that's that's funny. It really got me the first time and then just kept getting funnier every time after that. As we said, as we saw from the thumbnail, we got a little custom Batman logo of John Legier and his love of Batman. And don't get me wrong, I like Batman too. More of a Superman guy though. So there's that one. Really no obvious purpose for the video, considering it doesn't seem to be promoting anything. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I just don't get it. All right, so here's the last one for today. Um, this one's... This, this one's the worst of them all. Just take a look. I found one of the most incredible uses of Pam. And I called it the Pam Shuffle. Be careful if you try this at home. If you take some Pam and just spray it on the floor. I feel like that's dangerous to spray Pam on your floor. I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to react. You, you guys are probably thinking, oh, are you going to roast his outfit and his pink shoes and his pink chef's hat with the T-Mobile logo on it? His apron that says T-Mobile CEO pointing out that that is indeed his job and uh, it wouldn't be legit if he didn't have an apron on that said so uh, but no I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk about that um, I'll just I'll just breeze by that let's just focus on the dangers of spraying Pam on your wooden kitchen floor let's see what he's got for us because this seems like some quality stuff you can then get an aerobic exercise and you can make up all your own dances, like my favorite, the John Travolta. Yes, and I do the moonwalk, Pam. Why is he so excited all the time? The John Travolta, yes! I don't know, maybe I'm just, maybe I just suck the life out of things and the fun out of things. Here, let's, let's, let's give this a try. Let's give this a try. All right, so I don't have any Pam, um, kitchen spray. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour some of that on the floor, make it all nice and slippery. You know, if I say something, I mean it. These things happen. 